212. Discuss issues associated with re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere and landing on the Earth's surface. I divided this slide into four sub-points, heat, g-forces, time, and reaching the surface. So heat. There's a considerable amount of kinetic and potential energy possessed by the orbiting spacecraft, which must be lost during re-entry. As the atmosphere deaccelerates the spacecraft, the energy is converted into a great deal of heat. The heat must be tolerated or minimized. So how do we do this? Well, the heat can be tolerated by using heat shields, such as ablating surfaces or insulating surfaces. The heat can be further minimized by taking a longer re-entry, thereby for lengthening the time over which the energy is converted into heat. So basically, providing more time um, makes the time slow for heat to build up. And the space shuttle uses this technique. G-forces is the next important point. The deacceleration of the re-entering spacecraft also produces G-forces, typically greater than those experienced during launch, which is key. High G-forces can be better tolerated by reclining the astronaut so the blood is forced away from their brain and are fully supported, uh, supporting the body. The G-forces can be minimized by extending the re-entry, slowing the rate of descent. This strategy is employed by the space shuttle. So again, using time as its best friend when it's coming back as, as it's re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. For time now, which is our third dot point, there is a radio, radio um, blackout caused by overheating of air particles ionizing as they collide with the spacecraft. So this may be safe issue if contact is needed um, between the spacecraft and Earth during this uh, phase of the flight. So think about um, not having communication with the people on board and not knowing um, the well-being of the astronauts. Our fourth dot point is reaching the surface. So reaching the surface is an uh, issue because one, we need to find where they're going to land and how they're going to land. So even after surviving the issues above as we discussed, the spacecraft must touch down softly onto the surface of the Earth. So several solutions have been um, pros as a uh, way to solve this problem. First, using parachutes and then splashing into the ocean and parachutes before crunching onto the ground or by landing on an airstrip as performed by the space shuttle previously.